off this time and fairway slow to go and the same can be said for Roden and guns ablaze jump with gusto leads a half length on the favorite steel point chief momo wider out and desert sachet improves so does monarba and flipnell artistry next and caught out wide followed by fairway Roden. big game splendid result his second last and mandel and rain is at the tail of the field over the 850 crossing guns ablaze can't get to the fence as flipnell boots up to keep it out and leads it a half a length away in the third position is Roden who's made up valuable ground after a slightly tardy jump and then Chief Momo followed by Fairway Monaba Steel Point drifting back to midfield and then on the inside of it is Splendid Result followed by Steel Point a length and a half then at the head of the others on the inside Mandolin Rain Steel Point's gone back to third last now Artistry second last and Big Games last in the stretch and on top of the rise and Roden's gone right through on the inside it leads the way Fairway's chasing Roden Splendid Result is third and Desert Sachet out in the better footing is starting to put his mind on the job. Splendid result, lost the rider. Desert Sachet, fairway grab Roden. Desert Sachet, the outside is doing better than its stable mate and Desert Sachet will come away and win. Desert Sachet lands some nice bets at long odds in beating fairway. Roden third, followed by Manaba, then Steel Point. The rider a splendid result. Artistry, Mandolin, Rain, Flipnell, big game. Guns are blaze knocked up. And so did Chief Momo, and the rider of splendid result is uh, on his knees up here. And uh, I'm referring to uh, young Hugh Bowman. Uh, Hugh just sitting down, and uh, one of the track attendants coming over to check him out. And uh, the ambulance officers will be uh, on, the, uh, on the spot, hopefully, just to... Uh, here they come now, just uh, turning their vehicle into the home straight. OK, over the line there, number nine, Desert Sachet, 10, 70, 3, 10. Hope you uh, took the lead there from Ian at the track. 11, Fairway, 5, 50 and 4, Roden to pay 180. Back to Ian, 9, 11, 4 there, race number one at Randwick. 66, 20, exact of $124 and the trifecta, $1,314.20. The winner... ...off now. And they've jumped away in a perfect line as they charge down towards the first. Which one's going to hop over at first? It might be Sea Biscuit in the centre. And Stacey Jones out deep made a nice leap to go up and join the lead with Noble Colony. Over on the inside there comes Sea Biscuit. Gentle Habits going back into the field then was top that. On the outside rise, an alien fellow, and on the inside is all hard as they swing into the back. A thousand metres out on round one. It's Stacey Jones in front, the rider restraining it as they're going up on the outside to take it on for the lead there with Short Touch. And as they work along the back, Short Touch opens up a break of two and a half over Stacey Jones. Two lengths away to Noble Colony, third on the inside, Jack will do. Then two to Sea Biscuit, Belmore outside it from Ryazan, back along the rails, then Gentle Habits is getting back into the field. Around them there goes top that alien fellow, and all hard is last of all. Heading up towards the 800 metre mark on the jumping track and the leader was a short touch out two and a half clear of the favourite and that is Stacey Jones. Two lengths away Jack will do caught out three deep top bat and in the centre is Noble Colony as they pop over the next. The jumping's been very clean Ryazan outside Belmore followed by Sea Biscuit. A length of gentle habits back with it was Alien Fellow and All Heart is last. Over the next and short touch almost joined by top bat and they match motors as they run to the turn a length and a half to Stacey Jones. Third on the inside of Noble Colony. Tracking out three deep Belmore. Back on the inside next then was Jack Will Do as they come around the turn with Ryazan. Only about six lengths first to last. Then Gentle Habit Sea Biscuit getting back into the field with Alien Fella. And last of all is All Heart. They're in the straight now and coming down towards the jump at the 100 metre mark on the outside section of the track. And short touch in front here. He jumped it nicely from top that third Stacey Jones. Third over on the uh, fourth on the outside is Noble Colony from Belmore. And then back along the inside Jack Will Do a length away Gentle Habits did. They're tightly packed here from Alien Fella. Sea Biscuit the inside two to rise and and last of all is All Heart. Leaving the straight 16.50 out and top that and short touch the joint leaders a length and a half to Stacey Jones has had a beautiful run. Three parts Jack will do. Two lengths to Gentle Habits saving ground on the inside so too is Sea Biscuit. Then Alien Fella very deep noble colony followed by Belmore rise and and last of all is All Heart. Taking the lead Stacey Jones with top that as they go over the second of the double down the side and with 1300 metres to go. Stacey Jones the inside top that out deep and going forward to as Jack will do. Gentle touch back on the inside
side from Noble Colony, who has been tracking deep. Then Alien Fella, short touch, dropping back into the field, passed by Ryers End, then Seabiscuit, all heart. And last of all is Belmore, a thousand out, and is top that in front. Jack Will Do goes up on the outside. Stacey Jones back to third again as they go over the next. Further back then came Alien Fella, Noble Colony, Gentle Habits making ground. Stacey Jones niggled that under pressure. Then Ryers End, Seabiscuit battling away, and well back as all heart. 7.50 out as they come down the side, top that, and Jack will do a length in front of Alien Fella. Noble Colony the outside, Stacey Jones being hard ridden from Ryers and Gentle Habit Seabiscuit, and then all hard, here's the next coming up, Jack will do, just took a narrow lead, here's Noble Colony on the outside coming at them quickly, going with it or trying to as Alien Fella, Stacey Jones is not in it as they go over the second last, Ryers and making some ground, and further back then Gentle Habits, it's Noble Colony in front coming to the turn though, at the 250 by three parts of a length on the inside alien fella four away to top that rise and jack will do sea biscuit stacy jones gentle habit as they approach the last 200 meters out and the leader is noble colony he won it last year can he make it two and end he's clear of alien fella top that ray uh, whacking away from sea biscuit rise and and jack will do here's the last noble colony jumped it beautifully alien fella trying to go with him then top that but noble colony's in front it's been a dogged win noble colony gets in by a length and a half on the line to alien fella Fella top that third from Seabiscuit, then Jack will do rise and gentle habits. All hard, a big flop, Stacey Jones, and last in short touch, and they've all completed the course. Yeah. Number one, Noble Colony, $6.190. Eight Alien Fella at $2.40. Nine top that at $13.40. One Noble Colony, four sixty one sixty. dollars Eight Alien Fella, two twenty, and nine top that to pay $14.60. Correct weight at the Gold Coast on the first on the program there. Correct weight. Nine top that. Written by Martin Mills, numbers 1, 8 and 9. 1, 8 and 9. The time for the race, 3.47.2. 3.47.2. The record, 3.33.5. And the totes on one noble. Off this time... And quite a good start it was too. One of the best out was Imposing Waltz, commencing nicely the favourite Blessed Be, and Saps is moving forward rather quickly as they settle fully into stride. And not far away next as they travel about 250 metres, dot the eyes on the outside from Selinsky. And then a gap to Evangeline. Mr B is followed by Port Bell. Scarlet Air is second last and May May another three quarters of a length away. Along past the 950 they travel Imposing Waltz the leader, a half length on dot the eyes, three lengths to Blessed Be. Ahead to Saps the outside, one and a half Selensky, and then Mr. Beers inside of Evangeline. A good margin to Scarlet Air, Port Bell second last, and two lengths further back is May May. This is the order as they race along towards the 600 marker, and Imposing Waltz leads the way narrowly over Dot the Eyes, two and a half to Blessed B, Saps and Selensky, all in a bunch, followed by Mr. Beers and Evangeline, another three or four then to Scarlet Air, two to May May, and Port Bell's last as they round the bend with just over 400 to go, and Dot the Eyes on the outside takes the lead clearly and getting right away from the rails dot the eyes about a length clear now second posse on the inside imposing waltz a length and a half to two lengths to blessed be and on the outside of angeline down to the 200 dot the eyes in front cassidy's gone for the whip on the favorite blessed be of angeline's past it blessed be can't win dot the eyes in front of angeline on the outside is the big danger dot the eyes bought out a little on evangeline but is starting to come away again and dot the eyes from evangeline blessed be and then came Mr. Beers, followed home by Scarlet Air. A good margin off next was Selensky. About six or seven Port Bell imposing walls. May May and Saps finished at the tail of the field. Four dot the eyes to return on the super tab there. 12.20, 295 of Angeline, 210 and one blessed B, 140. 30 metres to beat off the challenge of Evangeline and in doing so has paid $12.20 and $2.80. 12.20 and 2.80. Evangeline, number five, has run second, and it will pay $2.50, and blessed be the favourite in third spot, and it will pay $1.20. The judges have not semaphored any numbers to this point on the second race of the day for the time of 1.28.25. 1.28.25. This track very heavy this afternoon. Dot the eyes in the second of the day. As the numbers are up now, four, five, and one dot the eyes by bureaucracy from Rada. Is a brown filly, a two-year-old, bred by Mrs. W. R. Craswell, 
owned by R and Mrs Y Gersbach, C and Mrs E Oxenham, D and Mrs K Lee, trained by David Lee here at Randwick and written by his son, Jason Lee. So a real family result in the second of the day with uh, David and his wife uh, also sharing in the ownership. So it's ready and racing. Oh, they've broken away in a near perfect line. Specular one of the first out. That's got Lady away quickly and Must Relax has gone past early with Prince Planet. And also going through there is Limestone as they settle from Made in Monaco. Specular back along the inside from Agent Chaos. Streamline making uh, ground through the field followed by La Modesta. Chiming door checking back along the inside. Catrack is deeper out followed by Prospector's Dream and Ascot is last. Down by the 700 Ascot Lady a half length in front of Must Relax. Two and a half to Limestone. Streamline going up on the inside the fourth in Prince Planet. A length and a half to Specular, ridden up, starting to make some ground, followed at the others by Happy Rainbow and the rest two and a half lengths further back, led by Chiming Door made in Monaco. And then comes Catrack, the others out of it. Ascot Lady leads on the turn, 300 metres out from Master Relax, Limestone third. Streamlined is under the whip. Specular runs on two lengths further back to Chiming Door and then Prince Planet, Catrack as they come around the turn, 200 metres out. Ascot Lady gave them the slip, opened up two lengths in front of Master Relax and Limestone. Specular battling away and then Made in Monaco ducking in badly, followed by Chiming Door, but Ascot Lady in front, 100 to go. Chiming Door is starting to run home very strongly. It's sitting down, Ascot Lady, Chiming Door going to it. Ascot Lady just in front and hung on. Ascot Lady has just beaten Chiming Door, three away, third of the Made in Monaco from Specular. And Happy Rainbow Cat Rack behind it was Ascot who made ground. On the inside next, Must Relax, Limestone, well back Prospector's Dream, Agent Chaos, Prince Planet, Streamlines run a shock a second last and La Modesta was last in. And number nine, Ascot Lady, 520 and 170, three Chiming Door, 270, 13 Made in Monaco at $13.90. Nine Ascot Lady, five thirty one eighty three Chiming Door, two eighty and thirteen Made in Monaco, eleven sixty. Just to have just hold on here to win over Streamline, but there's nothing in it. She's got it. Number nine Ascot Lady, ridden by Luke Nolan, pinched it on the turn, but she got that break. Number three Second Chiming Door, ridden by Jason Patton. Looking forward to seeing this horse racing over a little bit more ground. And third in number thirteen, and that is made in Monaco, ridden by Stephen Baster. Would have finished a lot closer had she not ducked in badly just inside the 200. No Number three, who... They're off this time. Courthouse Lane seemed to jump quite well. Whitfield Avenue first out. I don't think she's going to stay there. Balmaria is right up with the lead. And the same can be said on the extreme outside by Safari. And Courthouse Lane's going up on the inside. Settling Safari leads about three quarters to a length on Courthouse Lane and Whitfield Avenue. And then Never Caught closely followed by Balmaria, Belldale Blues, and then Precious Few. Next to last is our Carnival Girl and three lengths to mingle. They work their way past the 9.50. And Safari shows out by three quarters of a length on Courthouse Lane. Nearly two lengths away, third is Whitfield Avenue, who's racing a couple off the inside, and on her outside is never caught. Pressure Few is next, racing over on the inside from Belldale Blues. Three or four lengths to Balmaria, getting out of the ground in the early stages. Our Carnival Girl second last, and tacking onto the field is Mingle, 600 out now. And Safari on the outside, and Courthouse Lane level pegging. About four lengths to Whitfield Avenue, a length further back, never caught, Precious Few. Then Bell Belldale Blues, the little boy is going very wide on Balmaria. Mingle is second last and Absolute is our carnival girl. Well in the straight and over the rise. 2.50 left to run and Safari is the leader. On the inside, Courthouse Lane's beaten. Whitfield Avenue has gone to second, then never caught Precious Few. And Balmaria is coming right down the outside, but 100 to go. Safari still shows the way. They can't catch Safari. Whitfield Avenue and Balmaria second and third, but a nice win by Safari. Safari, a length and three quarters. Whitfield Avenue third Balmaria, fourth Mingle, then Precious Few, never caught, followed by our Carnival Girl, Courthouse Lane, and Absolute was Belldale Blues. On the super tab there, number six, Safari, to pay $5.190 for Whitfield Avenue, 160 and one Balmaria, 150 New South Wales a win, and $1.80 for the place. Number four, Whitfield Avenue, $1.80, and one Balmaria will pay $1.50. Safari prepared by Oliver Kuhlman, for Dr. G. Fromberg by Imperial Prince from Island Surfer Bay Mare 4 and scored in the time of 127.58. The runner-up, Whitfield Avenue from the Ethne Petoskey Stable at Hawkesbury by Hula Chief from Briosa Bay Mare 4. Mitch Newman looked to have a chance and third going to number one, Bell Maria. Uh, she was up there early, but then uh, he just let her find her leg. She got uh, a long way back past the 700. 
and he went very, very wide on her in the straight, but she only plugged down the running. And in the last, the triple S.